<laughs> Good morning, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day two. I should just trust my gut. My gut was saying 244, but I was like, nah. Welcome to day 244 of the Fixing My Life series. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Raven and 244 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. I was very unhappy and dissatisfied with what my life was like. I was quite angry and unhappy. And I was just tired of feeling that way. And honestly, time was just passing me by. Days were just passing me by. And my mood was not improving. My feeling wasn't improving. So I thought the only way to get out of this rut was to actually proactively like do something about it. So what I did was out of all the many things that I wanted to change my life and still want to change about my life, I decided to make a mini list of about 10 to 12 things that were absolutely integral for me to tackle first. So those things being my sleep schedule, my water intake, um, my level of exercise, how many prayers I was doing, if I was reading the Quran, if I was doing push-ups, like things that I wanted to incorporate in my life and get better at and make into a routine. And I started just tracking my progress with each of those things every single day via a vlog. And the goal is that by becoming more conscious of each of these things, I will hopefully develop some good habits and drop some bad, 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 bad habits along the way. So that's what this series is about. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome. If you are a raven that is part of my Twitch channel and my Discord and my the Nest and all of that, thank you for being here, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This series is very important to me. It's literally like a documentary mini documentary of my life for myself primarily and it's just going to be cool hopefully god willing i'm alive and healthy on day 365 to look back on that first video and like relive those feelings and hopefully see how far i've come so let's get a time check today it is monday 2 31 p.m and i have just finished t25 day week number two uh, the first day of week number two, cardio. So just to recap, I did all five days last week. Saturday was a rest day, took that rest. Sunday was supposed to be stretching, uh, but unfortunately the vaccine hit me so hard that I just couldn't do anything yesterday. Um, this morning, actually, the vaccine side effects were still quite strong. I was just like, my head was throbbing, my body was aching. I was so, so tired. I didn't wake up till like 11 something. And I feel like if my mom had it called me and there wasn't so much construction outside, like very close to me, I don't know where exactly it was, but it was, it was like drilling in concrete. You know that sound? That shit woke me up. I would have probably still been sleeping. Like that's how exhausted I was. But you know what? Thankfully, I woke up eventually, um, I got out of bed, I, what did I even do this morning? I think I kind of just washed up, did my workout, drank my pre-workout, so I've finished one bottle of water so far. I did take two vitamin gummies, they were just too yummy, so I could not fight the temptation, I did take two of them. And before I go and shower and everything, I'm thinking about running my errands. There's two things I need to do. One, I need to go to Dollarama to grab a couple of items. And two, I need to mail out two packages. So let me show you exactly what the Dollarama situation is. Um, Saturday, after we finished the vaccine, I stopped by Dollarama, I got a few things. So I wanna show you guys what I got. Yo, bless the tripod. Am I right or am I correct? So, we are going to start with these fuzzy cushions I got. I've been having my eyes on these kinds of cushions online for the longest time. But I was going to, the only way I could get the fuzzy cushion cover is if I bought the cushion separately and then bought the cover. But I saw these on Dollarama and they're like decently firm. And look how fuzzy they are. It was four bucks, so I got two of these for my sofa. So I'm definitely gonna take this off and give them a good wash because you don't know how many people have touched it and all that stuff. So this is going to be wet, getting washed soon. And remember how I had the whole situation on the, one sec. Remember this situation up there? 
Yeah, so I was able to fix half of it. You see that? It's way more organized. That one has bed sheets. That one has pillowcases. Love it. But all of this, we got to fix it. And I'm tired of it being in bags. And I couldn't find tubs big enough to hold pillowcases. So I thought to myself, what can I do where I can put those in a bag and still have it organized up there? So I had an idea of putting it in these. So it basically says storage bag, space saver storage bag. It's supposed to be a vacuum seal kind. Oh, sorry, sorry, this one. PVC storage bag, great for under bed storage. Now I, this looks very huge. I don't think I'm gonna need this whole thing, but I thought, oh shit, did this leak in here? Oh God. Uh, yeah, that's a little wet. Um, so I thought, why not store my pillows in here? And then, and then, and then put the pillow, these bags in here. These seem wide enough to, to, to handle that. So let's try that right now. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So interesting. This is actually what this bag looks like. So let's see how many pillowcases, uh, or pillows, sorry, it actually fits inside of here. And I am gonna give it a quick Lysol rub down inside. Okay, so I don't know if this is bad, but I folded the pillow. So technically there's three pillows in here. I don't know if you're supposed to, if it's okay to fold pillows, but I did it. So let's see how it fits in the closet pantry. Oh my God, it fits. Woo. Oh my God, that's amazing. All right, let's see. How am I gonna put it in the closet though? Okay, so I put it up, it fits. I do feel like I need one more crate, uh, one more tote exactly like this to put in towels. And I think I'll get one more of that laundry bag for comforters and stick that in here. This is all the stuff that needs to go back up there. So I don't know how, but I'll need to figure that out. And finally, I'm eating something. My first meal in like a day and a half or so. A day maybe. Half a day? I don't know. Oh, and a side of this baby. So ideally, I would have wanted three comforters in there, but only two ended up fitting. That is what the pillow situation and the comforter situation looks like. And it's great. The only issue is I still have so much more to put away. There's a quilt over there. This is a blanket like thing over there. I'll probably just have to deal with this tomorrow. I don't know what to do. All right, guys, before I go to sleep, as promised, I'm going to do a dollar store haul video. So I showed you guys these beautiful cushions already, which are going to be washed very time, very time soon, very soon, <laughs> very time soon. Um, these are the lids for the tubs that I got for the storage. They were each $4. So pretty, pretty affordable. And they're perfect for my um, storage. As you saw, I put pillowcases and I put uh, bed sheets already and duvet covers in there. Still trying to figure out if I want to keep duvet covers and pillowcases together or maybe I'll change it up and do uh, pillowcases and towels together and duvet cases in a separate. But then I don't have many duvet cases so I'll see. Also, I bought this little tub that I was thinking maybe I could just put pillowcases in here. And I wanna see 
if it fits right here. As you can see, I got this whole space open. Oops. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my God, it's literally not much. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Perfect, great. Well, there you go, that's gonna go there. Oh, that's amazing. Then I got these cute keychains. Y'all know I was inspired yesterday. I made some key and I made a keychain. This one I could put like a saying on here. This one it could be like a cute saying as well or an image. It circles. This one could be a saying or like a picture as well. I thought those were super cute, so I got those. And I got another one of the same laundry bags. This one in blue that I put the pillowcase it pillow pillows and the duvet covers um quilts in also the inside shower curtain so i have a, i put two shower curtains i have the one outside that's like all the pretty blue and then the one on the inside is like this plastic cover and i think that's where all the dead skin cells kind of flies from your body when you're washing it and it's, as soon as it starts to get a little nasty, I have the replacement ready. So I got that. I showed you the two tubs. Um, I feel like these are really good for the bathroom. I don't really know what they are. Oh, gel air freshener. I just put this in my washroom and I get make sure I get the name brand one. Snuggle and it works really really well. I think it lasts about a month or so and it's a dollar something here So I grabbed uh, two of these and I also grabbed a uh, Disinfectant bleach cleaner. I also grabbed a Stovetop cleaner because I realized I did not have one and then, y'all already know, I grabbed two more of these that I have not used yet. I've used two already. Uh, this is the vacuum seal bag because I didn't know how well these were going to work. They actually turned out to be incredible. So I got this as a backup, but it looks like I'm not going to need this. But I'll put them away anyhow. I got this for my art because I was running out of popsicle sticks. And what else did I get? Ooh, look how pretty this is. I got an extension cord. I needed one and they had run out of the regular ones. So I thought, why not just get a pretty one? So I'm going to use this and chill in my room. Huh? This is a drink that I got. Let me put it in the fridge. That's for when I cheat. And I got some parchment paper. I think I need to use this for perler beads. So I got that for an art project. What else? Oh, an apron. I didn't have an apron, so I got an apron. I got some hangers. What else? Apron, hangers. Oh Lord, I got some more of these bags. And then I got this as a backup plan. Again, if this didn't work out, but it turned out to be amazing. Space saver storage bag, extra large, and it's scented. Maybe I will use it one day, who knows? See, that's the one bad thing that I do is I get backup plan items and sometimes I don't even need them. So, and then an ice cream scoop cause your girl likes some ice cream and I wanna scoop it out just right. This I thought was really cool cause I always suck at uh, conversions and I'm always googling this and now I can just have it on my fridge. I thought this was such a cool go-to chart. So I'm gonna put that on my fridge. And some mini tongs, because you already know I got the big one. Sometimes you just need a mini tong. Um, oh yes. And then these last two items were these scented garbage bags, I don't know why, but in my kitchen, even if I don't put any food in my garbage uh, bag, it still smells like garbage. 
and I'm wondering if there's any way around it. So I bought these scented garbage bags to see if I could get rid of that smell. And then this one is for my oil situation. So right now, whenever I'm cooking, I take the oil straight from this huge ass bottle, but I'm thinking maybe if I use this bottle, the spray, it'll kind of keep it more manageable and easier to work with. So let's see. And then I bought this as well uh, for the toilet bowl cleaner. So that was my haul. That's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I'm going to do a quick recap of the day. Um, I ended up eating the meat curry that uh, I um, my mom made me a while back. Oh, did I not take a video of that? I hope I did. If I did, I'll put the video here. And I also had finished the day with three bottles of water. Did not have any bad things to eat today. So I'm pretty proud about that. And now I'm heading to bed. Granted, it's 2.30 a.m. and I'm probably not going to fall asleep till 3 a.m. But um, listen, we take the victories that we get. And we did have some today. <laughs> so um, as always, I am wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your bad day peace and happiness. Um, I will say that I don't know what exactly it is, but there is something off with me emotionally. I really can't put my finger on it, but emotionally, I'm not 100%. And I don't exactly know why. I don't know if it's because I'm on my period or because, you know, I got sick after the vacuum, va vacuum, after the vacuum, I got sick after the vaccine. And usually when I get ill, it makes my mind wander about, you know, health issues and stuff. Or I, I really, I really can't put my finger on it, but expect in the next few days that there will be some sort of reflection type video and um, we can discuss it then. Yeah. All right, guys. Good night. Um, take care of yourselves and Raven out. Bye, guys.